This is Sunny Boy from the Street Clean Loyal Show on YouTube. And I'm here with Dusty Vision TV, the homie kicking it. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. A steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Were there any um, white or black dudes, uh, you know, that you got close to in prison, you know, that just for whatever reason, they grew up around Latinos, they, you know, whatever the case is, you know, that they just, they hung out with you guys. And, you know, the other part of the question is, do they, you know, how, how, how are they treated differently from, you know, to the best of your knowledge from being in a predominantly Latino gang? When a South Side of Rosen and he's black, um, and he's a writer, everybody knows him. You'll know about him before he even hits the system. You heard about him in different counties, the county. You hear about him in the, in the prison system. In the prison system, you'll know about him before somebody would have told you about this guy. You know who they are. There's no hiding it. There's no when a black Torreño or a black Southside walks on the yard, everybody knows who he is. Every race, everybody says if he's a writer. There's no disputing it. He's ready to roll. You can see it in him. You can see, and everybody knows about him. Right now, I personally never got in, um, close with any blacks or white um, Southsiders. There's much more white Southsiders than there are blacks. Um, the white Southsiders, you know, they grew up with the homies. A lot of them grew up with the homies and know how to program and. You would never even think they're white because the way they act. Um, I actually knew a, a couple of white uh, Southsiders that were, you would never know they were white, just the way they acted. Mm -hmm. And But they're not, um, the homies will eat with them. The homies will program with them, do things with them. Me, if you would have put a black Southsider in my cell, I would have to tell them, hey, homie, all due respect, but you got to leave. Um, I'm not going to eat with them. I'm not going to sell up with them. Um, there are some homies that will. And that seems to be, uh, uh, there's homies that don't. There's homies that won't program with them at all. They won't disrespect them, but at the same time, they're not going to program them. Mm. So no matter what they do, there's some blacks that, that people just don't won't gravitate to, but that won't happen with the white. Mm. Yeah, interesting. What is the difference between a South Sider and a Sodeño? The South Sider is from the South. And when you Southern say South, California you mean, gangs. okay, Southern California gangs, okay. Yeah. A Sodeño is involved in more structural things. Does that make sense? Yes, it 100% does. Yeah, they're more involved in more structural things than than uh, a South Sider. South Sider is um, just people that grew up in the uh, Southern California gang mm -hmm. area. They're South Siders. Who are some of the gang and or prison type YouTube channels that Sunny Boy messes with out there? <sighs> I like Gunner Collect. He is a uh, northerner. He's a North Daniel, um, but he, he's spitting the truth. He's not lying. He's not glamorizing. He's not. Uh, he's giving the real game, but at the same time, he's not giving the game where it's going to cost somebody um, something in prison. He's not snitching on nobody. Not dry snitching, mm -hmm. as far as I've seen so far. So I, I, I like his. I like his content. I like watching him. Like listening to them. Um, there's there's a Samoan that does it too. Um, Thirty to Life, that's his name. Oh yeah, Thirty yeah. to Life, and mm -hmm. yeah, he does some good content. I like his stuff. Uh, that's pretty much actually it as far as gang platform. Mm -hmm. Um, there's other people that, that touch on it, but. I really don't um, 
and I've pretty much seen a lot of them. Mm-hmm. I just don't really uh, agree with what a lot of people glorify the gang, and and that's not something I agree with. So I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna sit there and, and um, like there's one show twenty three and not twenty three and one. Um, it's some Boston kid. I can't forget his name. And the second. I like watching his, his show, but I don't believe half the stuff that comes out of his mouth. Mm. Just on the basis that he thinks he got a three year term and he's probably been involved in 600 incidences in the system so far. Mm. You know, like every day, they make it seem like every day is a, a war and every day something's popping. And it's not like that in prison. There's a lot of dead time when nothing's happening. Gotcha. Tell us what we can expect from your channel. Um, but before that, what is your number one mission with your channel? My number one mission is to reach out to some of these kids mm-hmm. before they take that turn that I took. Yes. That's my number one mission is to reach some of these kids. People talk about, oh, why don't you give them a class on school and prison? because I want to stop them before they get to prison. Mm. I want them to understand that. Mm. They're not going to get nothing out of prison. They're going to be kicking it with my enemies the same way they killed. That's, mm. the, that's the way it is, you know. That's a reality, you know. You're going to mind somebody, you're going to listen to somebody, you're going to do it. You're on somebody else's program when you're busted. And um, that's my thing, is just keeping these kids out then no, there's a different option. You can walk away with your head held high and not have to go through that. Thank you. Still have your respect. Yeah, thank you for that, dog. Real talk. More more people like you are needed, and you would reach more people doing it on YouTube as you're doing now than you would if you were teaching a class or doing a class in prison. So, you know, you could talk to some cats in Boston, you know, Philadelphia, you know, who are going to watch your channel. And you're going to save lives if you haven't already. And I think we discussed that in the past. Um, one more time, Leonard Acosta on YouTube. I encourage everybody out there to check him out. And also, um, it's it's Instagram Leonard Acosta as well, right? Yes. Cool, cool. Yeah, Sonny Boy, man, it's always a pleasure, dog. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job and some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job.